you're going to see, please you're going to spy it, a red brick tower. That is Lambeth Palace, not as new as it was in 1207. It's Justin Welby, and he baptised Prince Louis the other day. He married Harry and Meghan. He is the Archbishop of Canterbury. So he's in charge of our church. He lives just next to you, ma'am. Yeah. Give him a little wave. He's lovely. We adore him. He's a good egg. But this is really, really darling. The garden is private, of course. I don't know how much we can see, if anything, maybe the top of the trees. But um, apart from him and his family, only the nightingales are allowed to use his garden. And those are the nurses who work down the road here on your left at a teaching hospital called St. Thomas's. And they're named for Florence Nightingale. You to the left for the guests. And that's mom, so I'm ignoring it. It's only 500 years old. But behind, you have Westminster Abbey again from a different angle. Look at individuals lining up to get their tickets to go in and visit. I have my own entrance, so I don't have to wait at all. Only two places in Britain, Piglet, Piglet. But it should be nice. I'll tell you about Trafalgar Square later. But uh, we need to do the guard change now. I'm furious with the former mayor of London. That street is 500 years old. Aww. Yeah, this is Piccadilly Circus, thanks, James. <laughs> and the street up to the left is our Theatre Street, per excellent Shaftesbury Avenue. The Miserables are showing up the road there. It's a very good show, sad, but good. And there's some seats, if possible, because if you've got a hurty knee, it's only right and proper that you should have a seat. the King James Bible because there's a church library which is 600 years old in a moment on the left you're going to see a red brick building before you know it on the left and next to that you see this better from your boat of course you'll see um, the facade of an old school you will and it's the city of London school for boys not as new as it was in 1442 and uh, the city of London school for boys they moved house now and this is where that fellow Daniel Radcliffe, the actor, was educated him, who you know from The Woman in Black. <laughs> so the church library coming into view to the left for some of us. So part of this building is 600 
years old. It's quite nice, isn't it? Quite pleasant. Did you do Shakespeare when you were little? Yes. Kind of wake her up and get her really motivated. Um, it's, it's so tough for these players to compete with that. But Camilla Georgie came out. She was really attacking. Yes. Well, that's, that was the she thing played, to do. Yes, that's how she plays. She serves big. And that's really, again, what you have to do against her. You have to take count and try to get into the corner and take the racket out of her head. She's um, very fast mover, but she goes for her. And that's what it takes. When we leave the piers here on the river, we provide everyone with a short safety announcement. It's nothing to be alarmed about. We're just letting you know the boat is fully equipped with the up-to-date, modern, life-saving equipment. Around this boat, we have life rings, life rafts, and life jackets. All life-saving equipment is clearly marked with green and explore. Now from the base to the top of the Golden Cross, St. Paul stands 365 feet tall, a foot for each day of the year. On top of the dome, the Golden Gallery. A through the bridge of our red columns, these are all of the main, from the old Blackfriars Railway that was built in 1864, designed by Joseph Cubitt, the first railway bridge to cross the River Thames. And we're about to pass through the Blackfriars Road. Believe me when I say London has its very own golden sandy beach. Beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Throughout the day, you'll see people over there sunbathing, building sand castles and sand sculptures, paddling in the polluted river. Shouldn't swim in this river ladies and gentlemen, it's full of sh <laughs> sharks. <laughs> To our right, we've got the Wellington. She served for the Royal Navy during the Second World War. The ladies at home to fill in the gap and do the men's jobs. Building Waterloo Bridge was one of their jobs. It was opened in 1942. Back then is when it held the record of being the longest bridge to cross the River Thames. Still to this day, it's the only bridge on the river that's been built by women. It's still the only bridge that is built on time and under budget. So a very big well done to the guests. To our right, the white building with the green tiled roof, the riverside entrance in the Greater London area. To go on board the eye today, it does cost around £25 and it takes 30 minutes for the rotation. In recent years, the eye has become London's most visited tourist attraction. That is because of the view that you get from the top.